Hello Leo, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see how your person feels about you. And this would be regarding the person that you're thinking about or whoever you're involved with. Cross watchers, do keep in mind that the energies can be reversed. So if you are cross watching, this would be how your person feels about you. Okay, so Leo, I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for how your person feels about you, Leo, we have the tower here and we also have the six of wands along with the ace of cups. So first, this person feels as though they've messed up. OK, this is someone that feels like you may have even suddenly changed up on them. I feel like this is someone that had your undivided and full attention at some point and they no longer have that. This person is wanting that back, okay? They're wanting you to give them more attention. This person loves you a lot and they would like a new start in love with you. Whether you're still dealing with this person or if the two of you have broken up, they're just wanting to make things work, okay? We also have the five of wands here along with the seven of cups. So with this energy, this person feels like there's competition. They feel like you're exploring other options. They feel like other people are interested in you and they don't like that. Okay. It's making them feel very, very conflicted. And at this point, they feel as though, like I said, you may be giving attention to others. Now, whether you're doing that or not, this is just how your person feels okay so this is all their perspective of things so they feel like you may be giving attention to others and that may be why you suddenly changed up on them but they are regretting things with this five of cups here this is someone that is definitely regretting the past they're regretting how they treated you at this point they're crying over spilled milk okay they're crying over things that they can't change and they're regretting not making things work or not putting in the work like they should have when it comes to you. So we're going to tap into this energy a little bit deeper. But first, I did ask Spirit for a message regarding what your person wants you to know. And we have the grass wasn't greener on the other side. OK, so this is someone that may have had options in the past. This person may have put you in a situation where there was a third party involved, but they're admitting that things aren't working out with that third party or things didn't work out. So we're going to get some more messages regarding what this person wants you to know. But first, let's dive into this energy a little bit deeper. So this person is wanting to hear from you, Leo. OK, they're wanting to hear from you because they feel as though you're moving forward. Some of you have moved on from this person. For others of you, you're thinking about it. OK, but this is someone that's definitely spying on you They're Especially if you have social media, this person, I feel like they go through your comments to see like what people are saying to you and this and this, that and the other. Also, this person is wanting to hear from you. OK, so they're wanting to, to communicate more. But when it comes to you, they feel like you're just doing your own thing. This is someone that feels like you may even be dating others or that you are just really going out and enjoying yourself. And even if you aren't going out, they just feel like you're focused on yourself and you're no longer giving them as much attention as you used to. They are wanting to come together with you to start a new cycle. This person wants a relationship. And for some of you, they actually want marriage. OK, they reminisce about you a lot and they're wanting to reconcile and move forward. This is someone I feel as though um, they may be a little immature as far as their approach goes. I feel like this is someone that wasn't really ready for a long-term committed relationship, but they may have promised you that even though they knew that they couldn't deliver. So now since some of you have decided to move forward or you're thinking about it, this person is wanting to come back around and offer you more stability, okay? For some of you, like I said, this person may have been entertaining other options or dealing with someone else because this isn't you, Leo. But they do still love you, okay? I do see that some of you guys have been holding back when it comes to this person because you don't trust them. This is someone that is very disloyal, very dishonorable, and they're the type of person that will tell you anything to keep you in a state of confusion, especially when it comes to other options. 
This is someone that broke your heart. They were not giving you what it is that you deserve. But now this person is wanting to come back around for a new start with you after some type of betrayal or an ending, okay? But when it comes to you, Leo, a lot of you guys, you don't know if you really want to move forward with this person. Some of you know for sure you don't want to move forward. For others of you, you're not sure because you know that this person is toxic. A lot of you are sick of this person and you're looking toward the future. Some of you may have decided to turn your back on this person because you feel as though they're all for themselves and they're someone that's very selfish. I do feel as though this person sees you as wish fulfillment, but at the same time, they did too much, especially on an emotional level when it comes to you. I feel like this person puts you through a lot, okay? And you guys have your guard up because you may feel as though they're still dealing with a third party. Whoever your person is, they do want to keep you trapped to them. This is someone that doesn't want to let you go, okay? I also feel as though this person has a way of manipulating you, especially when it comes to the things that they tell you. At this point, you guys are tired of dealing with this person, okay? And some of you have dropped the burden. For others of you, you're ready to because you no longer see this person the same. For some of you, you take whatever they say with a grain of salt. Like, you don't even believe them. If this person were to tell you that they love you, 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 you probably wouldn't even completely believe it, okay? Because this isn't someone that acts as though they love you, even though they really do, okay? So, let's clarify a few of the cards that came out. Spirit, why is this six of wands here for how this person feels about Leo? Why is the six of wands here? Thank you. We have the two of wands, okay? So this is someone that wants, like I said, they're wanting your attention and they feel like you may have turned your back on them. This is someone that feels like you're fine with or without them, that you're good with or without them. But they're hoping that the two of you can have a future together. So they're hoping that you'll show them more attention, okay? Give me more about this two of wands spirit. Thank you. I told you guys they want a relationship and this popped out, okay? They're wanting a relationship. Even if things aren't, aren't going very good with this person right now, they're hoping that in the future, the two of you can come together and have a relationship. But when it comes to you, Leo, I feel like some of you are not even interested in what this person has to offer because you know that you deserve more. This is someone that's only giving you the minimum or, or they've only been giving you the minimum in the past. Okay. And when you were offering your love to them, it seemed like they were, their interest was elsewhere or they were focused elsewhere. So now the tables are turning and this person's going to be coming to you with an offer. And I feel like some of you aren't going to accept it. Okay. At this point, the time just has run out. When it comes to this person, you guys are tired of being patient. And like I said, you're ready to turn your back because this person took too long to give you what it is that you deserve. But like I said before, with this Ace of Cups energy, this person still loves you. Okay. All right. Spirit, give me more about um, this Seven of Cups here. So like I said before, this person is very conflicted because they feel like there's competition. They feel like you may be entertaining other options and they don't like that. Thank you. We have the emperor here. So because I told you guys, they feel like you're entertaining other options. And this is someone that is scared that you're going to end up meeting your divine masculine or your divine feminine. Okay. So now they're coming back around wanting to make you an offer. But the problem is that this person has juggled in the past and they betrayed you. So now they're heartbroken because they feel as though you're giving your attention to someone else, okay? But the only reason things didn't work is because this is someone that was deceptive. This is someone that you couldn't trust. They were entertaining other people. And like I said before, now they're coming back around saying that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. And I know that it wasn't with this seven of cups here because everything that glitters isn't gold. You know, they had options to choose from. They had different people that they were entertaining, but none of those options turned out to be as good as you, Leo. Okay. So yeah, now at this point, you guys are holding back your love for this person. Some of you still love them, but you are holding back because you just want happiness and you feel as though you were better off on, on your own. Okay. 
Leo, you guys have a lot of abundance coming toward you. I see a lot of good money as well. So Spirit is saying to trust in a new start because when it comes to working things out with this person, they're always going to be keeping secrets from you, okay? So Spirit is saying to use your intuition when this person comes back around giving you attention because they're still going to be telling a lot of half-truths. They're still being sneaky and this is someone that's just going to stress you out, okay? Some of you actually have marriage coming to you in the future, okay? And it could be with an earth sign or a Libra. Wow. And for some of you, even an Aries, possibly. So, yeah, they're worried about you finding someone better than them, okay? And they also feel as though you're very stubborn. Now, that doesn't mean it's true. That's just how they see things. But they think that you're very stubborn. At this point, they feel like you mean business. Like, you're not playing any games when it comes to them. I feel like your patience for this person has worn very, very thin, if not completely out. All right, Spirit, give me more about this Eight of Pentacles energy. So they regret not putting in the work or not making things work with you. They're thinking a lot about the past and they're in deep regret. This isn't the regular type of hurt. Like they're in very deep regret. So if sometimes you find yourself all of a sudden out of the blue, feeling some type of way or thinking about this person it's because they're thinking about you okay and they're in regret regarding how they treated you so we have this ace of swords here in reverse so this person they told a lot of lies okay and at this point you see right through them I feel like this is someone that has told you or will be telling you that they want to make things work. But when it comes to you, you don't trust anything that they say. Okay, so now they're regretting all of the lies. <clears throat> I also feel as though when it comes to this person, when it comes to them, they're very stressed out over a lot of the lies that they told you. Okay, wow. Why is this Ace of Swords here in reverse, Spirit? Thank you. See, look, the Eight of the Eight of Pentacles came out in reverse. So we have the Eight of Pentacles here twice. So this person lied about wanting to make things work. They're not trying to make things work at all. They're not putting in the work, at least. They may want to make things work, but they're not actually putting in the work. Okay, so if this person comes around telling you that they're going to change their ways, they're going to work on themselves, that couldn't be the furthest from the truth. This person has no, absolutely no um, intentions of changing their ways. And I feel like a lot of you already know that. So they told so many lies about how they were going to change and wanting things to work between the two of you. Now they're starting to regret things because you don't even believe them anymore. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, Spirit is saying that this person may be communicating with you, Leo, that they want to come back together, but you do need to continue to move forward because when it comes to this person, they just want to keep you from moving forward, okay? So expect some communication to be coming in for a lot of you. They're going to be telling you that they want to be happy with you and that they want to be be in a family or possibly a long-term commitment, but this is someone that has a lot of passion for you, but at the same time, they're not someone that you could truly depend on. And for some of you, they're in a relationship with someone else and they will have to end that other relationship before they can move forward with you. But when it comes to you, Leo, I feel like you guys are standing your ground and fighting this person off. Like, you're not believing everything that this person says anyway, okay? All right, so... Let's go ahead and get some more messages regarding what this person wants you to know. All right. So they're saying that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Let's see what else. Spirit, what else does this person want Leo to know? What else do they want Leo to know? Thank you. So we have, I got spooked. Okay. So this person got scared. I feel like this is someone that they're scared of commitment. Okay. They're scared of commitment. And even though they're wanting to be with you, they just, they're, they're not ready to put in the work yet. I miss you regardless of how things seem. And we know they miss you because of this five of cups here. So yeah, this person misses you a lot. At the bottom of the deck, we have, I still love you. And I told you guys before with this ace of cups energy here, this person, they do still love you. Okay. 
Give me more spirit about what this person wants to else to know. Thank you. All right. I feel safer in the silence. So this person may not be telling you everything. And it's crazy that that came out under the grass was and greener on the other side. So they're not telling you everything, especially when it comes to a third party. This is someone that's scared of saying the wrong thing or saying something that's going to incriminate themselves. Give me more spirit. Give me more. Thank you. My heart is telling me just do it. Okay. So this person, like I said, they're wanting to make things work with you. And for some of them, they're just scared. Okay. Your card fell, Leo. I know I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fix it. Okay. So... Like I said, that's why this Eight of Pentacles is in reverse because they don't know how to fix it. This is someone that they could fix things by just doing better, by being honest, being loyal, being genuine. And they're saying they don't know how to fix it. So this is someone that really does not know how to be genuine right now. This is someone that needs to grow. Give me one more message, Spirit. But they're admitting that they screwed up. Okay, so... We have, you've been in my dreams. So this person is either literally dreaming about you or they could be daydreaming about you. At the bottom of the deck, we have no other compares to you. All right. So I told you guys the grass wasn't green on the other side. And now they're starting to realize that no one else compares. Okay. Wow. All right. So Leo, that is your reading. If you guys like this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.